As with any stock, Tesla has faced both rising and falling tendencies. The automaker saw its stock drop 45% in 2022 after rising nearly 50% in 2021 and a whopping 743% the year before. The stock price has been under intense market pressure due to several unrelated factors to Tesla's performance, but has contributed to the company's share price decline. I bet you want to know more about the company's future, and most importantly, I know you clicked because you want to know whether the all-wise Charlie Munger, the 90-year-old vice chairman of Berkshire Hathaway and Warren Buffett's close friend, believes the stock is primed for investors to purchase or whether waiting is needed given the stock's perceived weakness. So keep watching and smash that like button and subscribe. After the CPI showed signs of easing inflation, Tesla stock and nearly all tech and growth stocks recently bounced much higher. In that session, Tesla stock rose by almost as much as the Nasdaq did, 7.3%. Still, the company has yet to capitalize on this gain because Elon Musk's ongoing saga with Twitter takes attention away from Tesla's strong growth story and performance. In a recent interview with CNBC billing investor, Tesla was praised for its impressive achievements in the electric vehicle industry and rapid growth. In a recent interview, Charlie Munger revealed his bullishness on company-wide Tesla and how he feels it exceeds expectations. Charlie Munger has recently praised Elon Musk's Tesla as an amazing feat in the American auto industry. Despite Munger's skepticism, Tesla has become one of the most valuable companies in the world with a market cap of over 600 billion as of January of 2022. In that time, Tesla produced 1.91 million vehicles. In the first two quarters of 2021, the automaker produced 386,759 vehicles. And in the third quarter of 2022, they delivered almost the same amount at 340,300 vehicles. The automaker saw a 55.95% increase in quarterly revenue to 21.454 billion for the quarter ending in September. During this period, Tesla's revenue was close to 75 billion, representing a 59.8% increase compared to the same time last year, as reported by Munger. Elon Musk, Tesla CEO, has made significant contributions to society. Musk has gone on record as saying that the success of Tesla in the auto industry is a minor miracle and that there hasn't been a successful new auto company in a long time. Charlie Munger has an impressive track record as an investor. Still, at the Daily Journal's annual meeting earlier this year, the investor expert predicted that the investment markets were in serious trouble. He warned that the economy was in jeopardy because some people lived in quote, wretched excesses. Adding to this, Munger explained that there was an excess in venture capital and other forms of private equity. GameStop Bitcoin markets at the time were also a significant factor leading to these excesses. He added that inflation is rising at an alarming rate worldwide as prices continue to rise across the board in a range of spending categories, with most people finding that they are spending more on commodities than they were a year ago. According to the 12-month percentage change in the consumer price index as of October this year, the Fed raised its benchmark interest rate by 0.75 percentage point, the third significant increase in a row, bringing the Fed rate to 3.25%. Morgan Stanley, an investment firm, recently released a note about Tesla stating that while Musk's ownership of Twitter may affect the sentiments of some consumers, any resulting weakness in Tesla shares may present an opportunity for investors. With the Twitter deal and other factors weighing down on the stock, Tesla's current market cap is below 200. Morgan Stanley claims that the high valuation of Tesla shares is mainly due to investors' confidence in their ability to model the economic outlook for the company's core electric vehicle and energy storage businesses, which is supported by a favorable economic backdrop. While it may be impossible to quantify any potential impacts this may have on Tesla shares, it is a common concern among many investors and has been tested recently, the report said. Tesla has excellent fundamentals regarding vehicle production, delivery rates, earnings, revenue, profit margins, and technology. However, the company's stock has been trading below 200 recently, and it needs to be clarified when it will be able to reach new heights. Morgan Stanley noted that negative public perception of Tesla could impact demand for its products, citing this possibility in their research notes. 
While Tesla is highly vertically integrated, it still relies on various commercial partnerships. Investors' confidence and the availability of capital could be negatively impacted, as could be the automaker's relationships with government agencies and public support. While Tesla relies primarily on internal funding, it needs close cooperation with sovereign entities, primarily in the United States and China, to industrialize renewable ecosystems and onshore battery development. For the time being, it will need to maintain its solid ties with the investment community if it is to achieve the growth predicted by its $600 billion market cap. Additionally, the investment firm provided a bear case for Tesla stock price of $150. Potential total sentiment worries and decelerating EV demand, particularly in China, could lead to Tesla testing our $150 bear case before the end of the year. So it was said. Tesla will take advantage of any opportunity to lower car costs in the future by reducing its production costs. Morgan Stanley also believes that Tesla may continue to cut car prices. It stated that its China team had commenced on the recent significant price cuts in that market. And in response to this, it expects price cuts to follow in Europe as Tesla's Giga Berlin begins to surpass production of 5,000 units per week. For a self-funded top-line grower like Tesla, that is in a prime position to benefit from the re-architecting of the U.S. renewable supply chain at scale. Morgan Stanley believes Tesla stock could trade at approximately 12.5 times EV per EBITDA or earnings before interest, taxes, depreciation, amortization, and 23 times PE on its 2025 forecast. In terms of market share and profitability, Tesla is seizing a sizable portion of the rapidly growing EV industry. In addition to increased demand, Tesla is also working out ways to conveniently sort out this demand, having previously confirmed that its cars cost about $36,000 to make on average in parts and assembly. In comparison, it sells for about $10,000 or more. The automaker has recently reduced the weekly waiting times for all of its Model 3s and Model Y vehicles to a minimum of one week. This is great news for Tesla fans as the wait times have significantly deadered sales. With the wait times reduced, demand for the company's EVs will increase. Despite Toyota delivering eight times as many vehicles as Tesla in Q3 2022, Tesla reported a net profit of $3.29 billion, making it clear that Tesla is not only dominating the EV industry, but it is also gradually becoming the largest automotive company in the world. What do you think of Charlie Munger's claims about Tesla? Let us know in the comments and stay tuned for more updates. Hit that like button video find it helpful please subscribe we'll see you on the next video